<clears throat> Hello. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm very, 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 very. Ooh. Okay, that's nothing. But I'm very, very excited today because today we are officially starting Generation 11 of the Not So Berry Challenge. You know, same here. I had like, I had two streams open. Technically like, yeah, I only had two. I had like two streams. I was watching Shella. No, actually, no, I had three. I had, I was watching Candy Lee Caleb and then I was watching Shella and then I was watching Dan all at the same time. <laughs> Cause Kayla was, um, Simsy was dyeing Dan's hair and then Shella was playing the Career Legacy Challenge, I think, and then Candy Lee Kayla was playing the Not So Berry Challenge. There was so much happening. So much happening. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Oh man, what a day. What a day, let me tell you. Oh, that was, oh, that was still there? Oh. Well, didn't know that was still there, interesting. <laughs> It has been a day, indeed. Hopefully your um, Memorial Day has been good, though, so far. Didn't know that was still enabled. Oopsies. <laughs> Wild Parsley and Faye, welcome in. How are you both doing? And Ravenclaw, welcome in. How are you doing today? Okay. Yes. Um, it has been a day. Today is... Monday and it's Memorial Day in the good green terrible earth of America so it's been one of those days <laughs> it was actually surprisingly warm today but it wasn't as like unbearable but pretty good I started watching the new um uh what, what, what is it called again it's the um Fantastic Beast movie but I didn't really finish it though um, and Rach and Cimarella, welcome in. How are you doing today? And Peach, welcome in. Hello, hello. You went, you went back to work today and wasn't too bad. That's good. At least it wasn't too bad, though, because when you have an awful day at work, it's not so great. But I'm glad it wasn't bad. But I've been good. I've been good. I went to buy some more eggs at the Walmart because I was running out of eggs. And my parents are supposed to come over later today um, just to make food and stuff. <laughs> but overall, I've been really good, though. I've been watching a bunch of streams. I was watching uh, Simsy Dye Dance Hair earlier and a few other things, too. Um, and you're okay? I'm, good. I'm glad you're doing okay, Faye. I'm glad you're doing okay. Tyler, welcome in. Welcome in. <laughs> and barefoot bunny welcome in as well i honestly feel happy today because i wasn't as like tired as i usually am most of the time but also that um today's memorial day in america and surprisingly it's also not that bad um I am purple people, welcome in, and Tyler, welcome in, and Rach, welcome in, and April, welcome in, how are you doing? And speaking of April, I need to, I need to go back to episodes of Grey's Anatomy, because I'm not joking, I am, like, behind, so I'm, like, I need to get the ball rolling with my Grey's Anatomy binge, but what can you do? And, uh, DJ, uh, Hopke, welcome in, how are you doing today? But yeah, I feel so much better because, I mean, this entire month has been such a whirlwind, wonderful thing, like raising money for charity and just like just being able to do different things each day, but also kind of take care of my mental health more has been good. So it has been wonderful. And uh, Lee Fun, we, we leave fun bags welcome in. I bet the finale is good. I need to watch episode 12. 19 and then episode 20 but i hear it's really good though yeah yeah you uh, you spent practically all day getting rid of the weeds in your animal crossing island must have been a day then <laughs> must have been a day oh you're two episodes behind in grace same so then we can all report back afterwards 
I know it's gonna it's gonna end weird, and I don't want it to end weird because somehow I was watching um, I watch all my episodes on Hulu, and all of a sudden, all I know is that when I basically was watching episode twenty, I was like, whoa, 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 hold up, there's something going wrong here. I don't remember half of this stuff, so I stopped it and was like, I'm gonna watch it on the weekend so I don't have to deal with all this stuff. Um, the finale was also really good, better than finales in a while. Really? Okay, that's good then. That's good. You haven't watched Grey's in forever? Honestly, Peach, I think you should get back in, back into it. It's a little bit sporadic and crazy, but I think you'll still like it. Oh, you found Fiona again? You were moving in three new islanders and she was one of them? Ah, it's so adorable. Good. And yes, yeah, so this is actually the extended version of the Not So Berry Challenge. This was not made by Simsy, but it's like an extension of what Simsy and Zoe made, basically. So with Generation 11, we basically have to be as, we have to be in the acting career, complete the acting aspiration, um, complete the singing, dancing, and instrument of my choice, um, and then be a five-star celebrity, have at least one celebrity best friend, never get married. I'll show you what it looks like, though. Um... So you know it's what. But basically, these are the rules for the white gen. We have to have self-absorbed, music lover, non-committal traits, master, asper master actor aspiration, the acting career, um, and a few other things too. Um, but I think this gen generation is going to be really, 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 really simple. Because I already have half of it done, basically. And Warlord, long time no see. How are you doing today? Um, and Dad, thank you for the 42 month resub. That's a little bit too long. How are you not tired of me at this point? How are you not tired of me? Crazy. But thank you for the 42 month resub. I'm surprised that you aren't tired of me. Mm -hmm. Yet, yeah, keyword, yet. Um, <laughs> I love being here and I'm so grateful for you being a friend and a mod. It means a lot that you trust me all these months and I'm so happy. I uh, hope to know. I hope you know I never, I am never leaving. Oh no. Oh no, Bessies, um, we might need to reevaluate our mod system today because one of these mods are not leaving. Oh, <laughs> uh, you really should. You're only on maternity leave for another six months. I feel like, you know, honestly, you got, t you got ample amount of time. I think in six months you can finish all 18 seasons, honestly. <laughs> There's only 18 of them. It's about to be 19. Lordy Lou, um, your friend had a, uh, that has a crush on you, he hasn't watched Grey's Anatomy, and he has agreed to watch it in the future. Oh, good! Your crush is gonna like it. I know what you're saying. <laughs> you're starting with Rose. Ooh! How are you liking the Rose Gen so far, actually? Because I personally just did not like the Rose Gen because how toxic it was, but it definitely was an interesting gen, I have to say. And Coupon Nut, welcome in. How are you doing? Ow. Will you be making friends with Judas Ward as your celebrity friend? Honestly, I don't really know. A part of me feels like Judas Ward is actually dead in this save file because I started this save when we already technically had Get Famous. So a part of me thinks that Judas Ward is dead and her kids with Marcus Flux are probably alive somewhere. And you're stuck with me? Oh no. I don't like that tone. <laughs> you have agreed. Oh, has agreed to watch Game of Thrones. You know, I I really haven't personally gotten into Game of Thrones, to be honest. And I don't know if I want to get into it or not. I watched literally one episode and I got bored. <laughs> and Virgo, welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Having start oh, haven't started it yet, but you will be tomorrow. Oh, good. And stars over Hyrule, welcome in. I hope you're doing good. Today, we are doing some good fun things. We're finally starting generation 11 of the Not So Berry Challenge, which feels so good to say after playing with gen 10 for so long. We already have, we already started our career. We should be going to our first job by Friday, which is tomorrow at 7 p.m., so we have to work on our comedy skill at level three, which we don't really have one at the moment. So we've got a few things we got to work on today. 42 months. That's a long time. Next stop, 50. 
I did watch Stranger Things. Um, I did, I did the worst thing and, um, may or may not have watched the entire first, like, fourth season, volume one, in one sitting. So I have nothing else to watch, basically, um, at this point. But I think I might rewatch season four because I did just binge watch the whole thing without, like, fully understanding all of it. So I'll go, like, bit by bit until July. But so far, I am really, really in deeply in love with uh, season four. Oh, it gets better after the first episode. Okay. Okay, then I'll give it a chance. I'll give it a chance then. I mean, I only remember the first, like the last season where people were talking about how there was a Starbucks coffee cup um, <laughs> in one of the scenes, which made me laugh. I'm like, they had Starbucks back then? Since when? <laughs> You did a cookout for Memorial Day? Oh, good. My parents are actually going to be coming over later today. My dad was barbecuing earlier, and so he's going to bring the stuff over and, like, hang out and stuff. So it's been one of those good days, I would say. But yeah. But I've been good. And I've been playing this save file, like, in particular since Gen 6. Probably 2021, I would say. 2021. Um, but overall since 2017. And Garrett and Jen does something. Thank you for the raid. We got a double raid. Thank you. Thank you so, so much for the for the raids, my friends. I hope both of your streams went well today. Hopefully it all went good and great. <laughs> welcome, welcome. You're up to episode three on Stranger Things and it's so good. Oh, yes. I have to say Stranger Things season four, once you get further into the episodes, it gets good. It's good. So you're confirming, Garrett, that is, Garrett's uh, community is a cult. Yes. Yes. And Noel, welcome in. How are you doing? And Zuko, welcome in. How are you? It took you forever to load just now. Oh, it's all good, Garrett. Hopefully your stream went well. Um, <laughs> We are a cult. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, the Spring Squad. Oh, okay. The Spring Squad is not a cult. We're simply just a squad of people <laughs> um yeah yeah so basically if we're just popping in from the stream today we are currently playing the not so berry challenge and we're currently on generation 11 right now and we basically have half of our like skills and aspiration kind of technically already done so i've done basically everything as a teenager and as a kid to get to this point, like we already completed one of our skills right here at the, we did the piano as an instrument to level five, which is what we needed to do anyway. And it's been nice. It's been nice. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. We're a squad. We're a, a person. And Jen, welcome in. And also the punk phenomenon, welcome in. Hello, hello. Um, but clearly, we are not a cult. We are simply a group of of people, sim things. Yes, let's go with that. Let's go with that. Um, so if you don't know what the Not So Berry Challenge basically is, it's a legacy challenge where each generation is a different, like, color. And based on that color, is like, a different career, aspiration, skills. And it was made by a little Simsy and always simming. And I've been playing this challenge since 2017, since literally the start of the challenge. And it's been kind of like an on and off thing for me mostly because, you know, things happen, lose interest in certain stuff and come back at a later date. So I've been playing for a long, 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 long time. And we completed Gen 10 officially last, actually, yeah, we finished Gen 10 last week officially, which is kind of nice. Um, are oh, you ready to start the Not So Berry Challenge until you have more packs? Honestly, you can actually do the base game version of the Not So Berry Challenge. But I would personally say, though, to play the original rules, you only technically need two packs, to be honest. Like, you only need Get to Work and City Living, and that's literally it um, for the original rules, which is kind of nice. Um, but if you did want to play with more packs, of course, then, you, then, you, then of course, waiting is good. Oh, not this not being painted. You know, it's fine. We're going to ignore that. We are a squad of of like-minded individuals have mine. Maybe, maybe, Virgo, maybe. 
sir. Oh, you're not moving. There you go. Thank you. Um, and Izzy, welcome in, my friend. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. But yeah, so with this challenge, you only like, I think generation one is, is basically get to work with the scientist career. Um, gen two is with city living for the politician. And some of the other ones that I forget which gen it was, but I know that you need to like get to work with something. Um, uh, so you tried to pretend of buying little campers kit as I was hovering my mouse over the purchase button saying, uh, what happens if I clicked it? You know, what happens if I click the purchase button? And then you clicked it and you actually bought it? You know, there's no accidents in Sims purchases, I find. No, well, it's all about giving in. <laughs> but why have I done that on a, on a lot of occasions of where I accidentally press the purchase button and thinking, oh, I don't know what would happen. Oh no, I actually bought it. I did that one time when I was trying to buy a, um, a computer because I was still like trying to figure out, do I want a computer or a new one or not? This was like two years ago, basically. And this p computer was $3,000. And I'm like, do I want it? Do I not want it? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should. I don't know. And then I just clicked it and then I died a little inside. Um, so yeah, um, never do that ever again because $3,000 is quite expensive for a computer, but I wanted more stuff. Oh, does it look good? I know they're going to wash out the hair. I was watching the entire stream or well, not the entire stream. I was watching part of it and it looks really good. The purple on Dan's hair looks great. I think once he washes it out a little bit more, it should look really good. I find like accidentally ordering food me every like that was me when i was um living on campus and ordering uber eats and doordash <laughs> um oh you have city living and get for good 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 you wanted to join you wanted to join twitch prime so you can get a free sub but it's a part of prime gaming which is 15 dollars a month so i don't know what to do now honestly though i mean when you think about it getting prime is actually kind of a good benefit because one free shipping on amazon Two free free sub every single month to a different streamer or to the same streamer that you like. Um, you get Prime Video out of it. I mean, it's like kind of a win-win scenario in a sense when you think about it. I find um, I have I honestly find the true benefit out of it all. Which reminds me, I need to resub to to uh, Rochella because I my thing expired. Oh, she's drying it now. Oh, good. Oh, normal Prime's fifteen dollars a month. Is there another one besides normal? Like, is there like another step up to Prime? Because I have whatever I have and I pay like 200 something dollars a year. Because I was like, I don't feel like paying months to month. I'm already doing that with other things. So I'll just get it for a whole year. <laughs> okay, let's have you come back out here and practice your jokes for your job today. Um, You know, we're here every day, Noel, you know. We're pretty much a, a, a lovely, funny group that we do things and we say things that probably make no sense. And that's sometimes okay. Um, oh, that's right. There is a Prime for Students. You know, I remember the day that it switched over from Prime for Students to the regular Prime. I died a little inside because that price increase was, was significant. And I'm like, wait, what's happening? <laughs> I was nervous, but you know, I haven't been a student in forever, so it's fine. I'm not shopping on Amazon. Someone tells me that they sell eco-friendly products because I only shop at places that support the environment. Yeah, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It depends on like, I guess what you buy from Amazon. You think it's like around 60 maybe? Okay. I mean, it's like not that bad. I mean, you get a lot of benefit out of it personally. If you use Amazon every day, I mean, it's kind of like a, you get the bang for your buck, honestly. Okay, so we need to earn gold in a commercial acting gig and then give a street performance. Father, fine, I'll visit you tomorrow. Oh my gosh, wow. Okay, let's stop acting for a minute and we're gonna go probably do a street performance, but where do we have to go? Um, oh, any of those things. Cool. Okay, I'll go. And Cat Love, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing so well. 
I actually have a hundred dollar Amazon gift card that I got from someone and I'm going to be using that to buy some stuff for my acting career because I need some new things anyway. And I don't want to use my bank account for anything because um, I'm stingy like that. But I use Amazon so much, but like not a lot. Just because I feel like if I use it a lot, there's so many boxes and so much packaging. Like it just builds up over time. And then I end up like trying to find a way to recycle it to the best of my ability. I think it's over here. Yeah. Um, your mom gets Amazon packages every single day. You know what's so funny? Um, the, the funk phenomenon. I saw a TikTok like ages ago of someone, I forget what the sound was, but it was somebody like opening up their door and they had all these like Amazon packages. And then like, the next person gave them that look of like, are you serious? Really? With all these boxes? What's happening? You need an intervention. Um, and I got Nikki, welcome in. How are you doing? Can you leave, please? Um, it's my turn. Thank you. No. Oh, if I go here. Go here. So if anyone, wait, so if, wait, so if anyone knows how to get subs, but without getting prime, <laughs> please let me know. Um, getting gifted subs by random people is the only way I find <laughs> Because I don't really know how to, like, uh, give subs without doing gifted subs, I find. Um, <laughs> and I'm glad you're doing good, Cat Love. I'm doing pretty swell, actually. I'm just currently trying to figure out... Oh. Oh. I have to click on my... Oh. Am I not there yet? Wait, hold up. Wait, give any available acting scenes away from the studio... Oh, oh. Okay, that makes more sense. Never mind. I'm slow. Anyway, Daff, Daff, welcome in. How are you doing today? <laughs> Dan looks really good, honestly. I mean, I was watching the stream earlier, and um, he looks great. <laughs> Dan should, you know, actually dye his eyebrows purple, not gonna lie. Or he should dye his eyebrows yellow, just for the sake of me being a friend, you know? That's me always judging. <laughs> you bought a desk off of Amazon that was almost like a year ago, but you still have the box. Honestly, though, I mean, when you really, really think about it, using the boxes, you can actually use it for something else. Father, what do you want? Fine, I'll answer the phone. But I think like, you know, save those boxes for something else. Like when you move, there's benefit out of those, you know. Oh, you have Prime but not Gaming Prime. Oh, they're different? Wait, really? They're, I didn't know they were different. I thought you could just like connect your Amazon account to your Twitch account and you, you get the whole thing. That's weird. That is really weird. Um, But yeah, that's true. That's true. But welcome in the afternoon. I hope you're doing good. And Andrea, welcome in. I hope you're doing well as well. And Spoof, welcome in. Wait, hold up. I'm sorry. Not Brad spreading juicy, juicy gossip about his own mother toxic. Anyway, Alice Derno, welcome in. How are you doing? I hope your day is going pretty well. We have two more hours left until our job performance or our job today. I'm guessing that we can probably go and talk to the sim and see if we can do a street performance maybe, but I'm not really sure. Um. <laughs> welcome, welcome in, Alice Derno. I hope your day is going pretty so well and well. It has been a day and a half, I would say, just because it is a Monday and it's Memorial Day in this wild world I call America. Okay, no, where are you going? Don't leave. I need to perform. Anyway, your boss has got three to four packages a day. And the amount of waste makes me sad. Honestly, that's a lot of boxes a day compared to like others. Oh my lordy, what in the, what in God, green earth is this? Anyway, um, <laughs> Mary Melly, welcome in. And, uh, wait, Bion wait, Bionic, wait, what? Bionic Rainbow, <laughs> welcome in. Hello, welcome in, everyone, Simsy. I hope your stream went well. I heard Dan looks great. Um, people were reporting back to me that Dan's hair looks 
wonderful. But honestly, though, I think I agree with you. Dan should dye his eyebrows purple, but actually he should dye it yellow to kind of, you know, make the feel a little bit better. Just saying. Time to start dyeing your eyebrows yellow, Dan. Chop, chop. <laughs> but I hope you're doing really, really swell today, everyone. I'm going to scroll all the way down the bottom because I can't see. Um. Anyway, but yeah, it has been a day and a half but besties we are playing the not so very challenge by the way we're on generation 11 actually because i completed all 10 gens actually last week and we're supposed to go to work um and i have to say this challenge is a lot but it's definitely 100 worth it i find if you're trying to get back into gameplay jesse uh meerkat welcome in and stella welcome in welcome welcome i hope everyone's doing swell um, if you want to know the rules for the not so berry challenge, basically for the extended version, um, one of my mods can put the link in the chat, by the way. And we're also raising money for St. Jude as well. <laughs> if you all didn't know. And also, I want to say a big, 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 big congrats to Simsy and the lovely Simsy squad for raising over $300,000 for St. Jude. So I applaud you all for doing such great, great work. And yes, all of my VODs are available on YouTube. I always re-upload my streams to my second channel. Audition failed? What do you mean? <sighs> Stupid Hollywood. Anyway. Anyway. Um. Oh, it's custom content, Amber. That's what it is. Okay, we're just doing this one instead. Fine. Stupid, stupid, stupid game saying my audition failed. Um, but my loading screen is custom content, so if you play on PC or Mac, you can actually get it. If you do have to mark a loading screen in the chat, it does it for you. Um, all CC. And Hayden, welcome in. Yes, there is a link in the chat if you want my loading screen. If you want yellow, then you can have it. Um, but welcome. <laughs> Perfect for Sims and Raiders. True, 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 true. We were actually talking about something earlier and I forgot what it was. I don't remember what it was earlier. I don't know what I was saying. Um, but yeah, so if you want to do the original rules of the Not So Berry Challenge, it's on Kayla's Tumblr, which is all 10 gens. And then the extended versions on Nixel's um, Tumblr account. But all the VODs of every single generation I've done is on YouTube in a playlist on my main channel and also on my VOD channel as well. So. You want to give a look see a little bit of ganda you got the goods and hayden welcome in welcome welcome um let's see did you start over with gen ones no so with gen 11 we have to be in the active career basically but no i am not starting over with that career that career stressed me out i'm not joking <laughs> this scientist career took me so long to do I'm not joking, it took me until my sim was an elder and they died on the very last day I found that last element. It was stressful. No. You came from the Simsy stream. Well, Morbid Jet, welcome in. I hope you're doing good though. Go to bed. Thank you. Um, and Maya, welcome in. Welcome back. Uh, you were watching Kayla's stream when you left and came back this spring. Hey, Drum, how are you? I know, honestly, I find that this generation is actually a lot fun because I never really got a chance to play through the actor career when we got Get Famous. And also, Simsy Dollar Train, thank you for the $1 donation to St. Jude, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Um, and Caitlin, welcome in. How are you doing? And I'm glad you love my builds, uh, M Era. I appreciate that. I'm actually uploading a video tomorrow on YouTube of a tiny house that I built for gnomes. And I'm very, very excited for y'all to see it. It's on the gallery already if you want to get it, but the video will be posted tomorrow. So I'm very excited. Oh, the extended version was made by um, Nixel. Nixel, who is also a YouTuber. There is a link in the chat if you want it, besties. You were looking for some Sim streamers, so I'm glad I found you. Well, I'm glad that you're here hanging out with us today yeah i always love meeting new friends honestly whether you come from raids oh okay 
whether you come like from raids or just um, from the recommended or just randomly. Honestly, it's always fun making new friends every day. And I stream every single day anyway, so <laughs> um, I stream every single day at 6 p.m. Central Time. But on Wednesdays, I stream at 10 a.m. And also for the kids, thank you for the $20 donation to St. Jude. You have such a beautiful energy and I love it. Thank you. You have such a beautiful energy. Blush and yellow are the best colors, to be honest. True. True. And flooring demo, welcome in. How are you? I hope your day's going pretty well. Okay, so today's Saturday. We have our commercial at 7 p.m. today. And we have level one in charisma. What in the Bella Goth? Excuse me. Nair. Where's our mirror? Okay, let's go over here. After a speech. Here we go. Um, you kind of want to turn your current legacy into a not so berry, but the family isn't berry themed. Honestly, though, you don't really have to keep it berry themed if you don't want to. I mean, over the years of playing this challenge, I honestly like slowly start not making them berry themed. Like their whole house is like that exact color or the whole face and body is like that color. Like it became too stressful, I find for me. So it's like focus on the rules and it'll be easier, less stressful. But unless you want to go down, down that route, it would make it more fun. <laughs> and Pine, welcome in. You came in when you had your Sims with funky hair and the colors that are mod and it broke and glitched your game. Not sure if you have it. I do not have that mod in my game. I know Rochella does so. And I think it got updated, but I'm not entirely sure. But welcome in Pine though. And welcome in Car Car. Welcome, welcome. Um, You're going through a tough breakup and the streams are happening me so much, especially when you're so positive. Well, Tiny Vic, I'm so sorry you're going through a bad breakup. The person that... That you had a breakup with is a stinky stinky human yes but i'm so sorry you're going through a bad breakup it's never fine honestly um so hopefully this room can help you so so much i can already tell i'm gonna like you well thank you i hope so <laughs> one cookie welcome in and no you're, you're not really late we kind of started the stream 32 minutes ago and uh kylona welcome in this is generation 11. <sighs> Honestly, I find like playing with the other packs is actually kind of therapeutic because when Get Famous came out, I didn't really play it that much. I kind of played through maybe two levels of the career and that was it. And then I went straight down to the path of becoming a YouTuber because <laughs> that's all I really wanted to do and play was Get Famous and make videos for a living, which I do now. Yeah, I kind of named most of my sims after like flowers mostly. Because I think I had, because my first gen was called Eliza Thornberry. And then I had Rosita Thornberry, Sunny Thornberry. I don't know what the gray gen though. I don't remember anything like that. Um, but it was definitely a time to live by, I would say, with each and every single gen I've done. You mostly lurk randomly, but you started following me after Spark. Well, I'm glad that you're here, Snow Aries. What time zone? Central time zone. Central time zone is where I'm at. Sir, can you um go on the computer, please? Thank you. Um, and it's currently like 6.33 p.m. for me. Mm, watching while digitally drawing of Ariana Grande. Very good mango. Ariana Grande. Yeah. <laughs> uh quiet creative girl long time no see how are you and x mac welcome in i caught up on chat finally if you couldn't tell i read chat out of order by the way if you're brand new to my streams i try to read every set every single chat message which is a lot to do but also i read chat out of order so none of my streams when i talk make no sense so welcome to Spring Squad Besties. I hope you enjoy your stay here. <laughs> um, honestly, though, I think they will. Because if you don't remember, they did a live stream. I don't remember when they did this live stream or not. But I'm pretty sure they're going to be making over like the other counties, like the Calientes and the land grabs. And I hope that I'll be able to be a part of that because that would bring me so much joy in serotonin. Because if you all didn't know, the Goss family got a refresh and me and Plumbella were a part of that refresh. We're involved in it. 
We didn't make The Sims. We just gave them suggestions and ideas of what they can do. But um, I was involved. Yeah, this is a white gen, yes. Your yellow is bringing me the vibes. Love being here already. Oh, I'm glad, Misfit Mac. <laughs> and Katie J, welcome in. How are you doing? Also, besties, if you won a giveaway from one of my streams, um, I already sent out some of the codes already, but then the other codes I'm still waiting for. Also, um, thank you so much. Such such a sweetie thing for the $20 donation to St. Jude and anonymous thing for the $8 donation to St. Jude, by the way. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Um, but I'm doing really good at Quiet Creative Girl. We're playing the Not So Berry Challenge today. So chilling like a villain. I'm literally just waiting for our sim to go to their audition at seven. So chilling. You know, you play the family that was, that has to be normal lifespan, but the rest of the community normal lifespan as well. I usually play most of my sim families at normal lifespan, but if I want to be a little bit risky and a bit chaotic, I'll play on short lifespan. But nine times a ten normal is from what I do. Um, let's see. An XOXO Leanna, uh, like, wait, Le Leilani, welcome in. How are you doing today? Yeah, he already has a Yeti. Indeed. I actually built this house on stream if y'all want this house by the way it is on the gallery too for this house you would love to for all the base game sims to get a makeover it same nancy's eyeshadow is horrific it needs to be changed who told her she can wear green eyeshadow on a sunday afternoon in the summertime because that's not ideal no green eyeshadow i don't think so <laughs> and brianna welcome in you are not late you are all good and Rebelica, welcome in. How are you? Um, but yeah, honestly though, I think Nancy needs an update. And like, if the land grabs ever get a refresh and I'm involved, you best believe I will find some way to fix that family tree. Because Johnny Zest deserves justice. He's all by himself lonesome. He should earn some money, at least, you know. Hello? <laughs> You're on the tab because your phone has ghost touch. Oh no. What is the mod to fix the rocket ship glitch? See, I don't really know because I haven't played with the rocket ships in forever. So I'm not entirely sure what mod fixes that. I wish I could help you better though. Over here. But there's so many other things to Rose Nancy for. True. Her being evil, toxic, chaotic, problematic. Um, some other things too. Uh, what packs were used in this house, if you know? Honestly, I don't. I don't know what, um, packs I used for our Gen 11's house or Gen 10. And also, it showed Ochido, welcome in. And yes, I do use mods. And also, Planet Queen, thank you for giving a gift sub to Dan, by the way. Thank you, thank you so, so much. Um... I think they need to update summer. Summer and winter's clothes for all Sims. Yes. Sir, can you like go over here, please? Thank you. Wow. Extra. Um, but you know what they need to fix? Um, the I think it's the BFF household, the one with Summer Holiday, Travis Scott, and Liberty Lee. That's a love triangle that needs to be fixed because they're being messy. Messy with their relationship right now. Um, and yeah, we're doing shell tours tomorrow and we're going to be making another shell actually on Friday, I believe. Either Friday or Saturday. I can't remember what I put on my schedule. You're playing the last house you built in The Sims and you're doing a run of the husbands and, and your relationships that you, wait. You're doing a run in front of the husbands and I relationship oh you're doing a run of your husband's and your relationship and that house they'll use oh that makes more sense so the way i was reading was not right um but that's good that's good one of the children came out looking like a land grab though Oof. you going to bed it's already 12 40 in the uk well good rest thank you for popping in uh uh poppy really appreciate this so so much can we make a trend where Johnny Zest deserves justice? Justice for Johnny on Twitter or um, free the babies? Yes. 
right? Free the babies. Hashtag on Twitter trending. If Kayla can get cow plants, we can free the babies. Oh, you get the poly vibes from them? Mm-hmm. I can get behind that as well. Okay, we have two more hours left. Two more hours. How do you end up next to the water like you? Um, if you have the Island Living expansion pack, you can live near the water. What's your conspiracy theory on Bella Goss being gone in The Sims 2? Um, Mortimer had something to do with it. Mortimer is being very sneaky sneaky and is hiding the truth. And that's what I think. Mortimer is the culprit of Bella Goss' appearance. But we all know that Bella was near Don Lothario's house on the tippy tippy top of the house. But Mortimer has something to do with it. I am excited for the werewolf pack. I am indeed. I'm very, very excited. Okay, are we going to work? Please tell me you're going to work. He's going to miss it. Just you wait and see. We're not going to do it. I would love body hair in The Sims 4. Like, if we get werewolves, it would be so cool to have body hair added. Um, let's see. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think that hashtag, uh, was made already taken. Yeah, I mean, it was already taken, but, you know, can we already make it trend again? <laughs> Bring the trend back. Why are my auditions failing? You better work on those skills just be... What do you mean? This game's extra. I have not gone to work at all. I can't. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm just tired. I'm gonna cheat my sim sleep need so we can speed through. Jeez Louise. No, she got abducted by the uh by Don Ladario's house, I believe. And cool Kate, uh cool cat, welcome in. How are you doing? Um did you see the new hints of the pack today? I did. I did see the new uh, hints of the pack. Yeah. So honestly, it's a possibility where you might be getting werewolves in a whole new world. I would not be opposed to that at all. A new world and new occult with body hair and extra things. I would be pleased. Maybe check my some skills. Usually auditions, you need a certain skill. That's true, because I mean, I already have level three in comedy right now, and for this commercial spokesman career, we have to have level three in comedy, which we already have. I guess I have to stay at my home lot just to go. That's weird. Ow, my leg. Oh, you're playing The Sims while watching, and the snow is so pretty, but it makes your game lag so bad. Oof. The weather can be tricky. Yeah, the skills are important. I figured they are. I mean, I guess I can work on my comedy skill a bit more to get to level four at least. That way, I at least have something to fall back on. I think there are, I think we are starting to get werewolves. Yes, I anticipate that maybe we might get like an announcement maybe on Thursday because today's Monday. Or maybe we'll get some more teasers tomorrow since tomorrow is Tuesday and they usually like, announce or tease something. On Tuesdays or Thursdays? What do you think? What do you think? Oh, my Sim's name is Judd Barry. Judd Barry is our Sim. And then our cat is named Caviar Fish Jr. <laughs> no, he's here. But yeah, Caviar, Caviar Fish Jr. is our cat. And then um, they have siblings, honestly. Um, four other, like three other siblings, technically. Mitten fish sticks, tuna mackerel mayo, their mother named Fish. They were all a product of Generation 10. I'm not joking. My Sim in Gen 10, their cat Fish was a free spirit and got pregnant twice by the same cat. Why? We had more cats than Sims in that household. More cats than Sims. And I was overwhelmed because there's too many. <laughs> Um, the new world could be an Egyptian because of the hieroglyphics. Mm, that's the possibility. You bet Dina and Mortimer were sleeping around and Bella found out and went for John. <laughs> you know, I, I can see that happening. You need a new PC to stop work. 
you need a new PC. It stopped working. You can't play The Sims. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's not good. So, wait. He didn't tell me the mods he was using. Oh, the mods that I'm using? Oh, I'm all, all I'm using is UI Cheats and MC Command Center, uh, Chido. Those are the only mods I'm using in my game. I don't use any other gameplay mods. Uh, but yeah. MCC and UI Cheats are the only two mods I actually use. I mean, also the selectable pet mod too, but I hardly ever use that to be honest. I don't really do gameplay mod heavy anymore because that stuff is ridiculous. Can't figure out a funny name. Thank you. And then Jerry Lord Car Car. And if you want to know what like what mods like my go-to mods technically, you can do exclamation mark mods in the chat, and I'll tell you. Um, as well, I got all I got commands for literally everything. You think they might announce it because it's Tuesday and it's the last day of May. You know, you do got a point. You do got a point. So that is a possibility. Um, you hope the creator card will be implemented and that you'll have one. I hope so too. That would be really cool to get a creator code. I had one for Epic Games, but I never really like announced it or ever used it. So they revoked it. <laughs> So I'm like, okay, that's fine. Um, but yeah, that sim is my crush. My crush? Everyone don't bully me. No, it's fine, Chido. <laughs> so they were crazy cat people. Yes, basically, Rebecca. You bet they'll do a, a trailer on Thursday or next week on Tuesday, regardless. They're always, they always do that when I'm working. Same. Usually when they announce something, I'm either like working on something or I'm like outside or whatever. But it's like, why announcing it at the time that I'm not ready? Some of this challenge, can you start playing with the next generation before you move out of the previous gen? Yes, you, you technically can. I've been doing that since the start of this challenge. Because that's the only way you kind of get further into like their skills, their aspiration. So that you're not being bored when you're playing them. Because, like, for Generation 11, we're only at level... Th we're at level 3 of our career, actually. We would be at level 1, but since we worked on our skills ahead of time as a young child and a teen in the acting drama club for kids and teens and a few extra, and a few extra stuff, we were able to get higher in our career. So I would honestly 100% suggest work on the next-gen skills so you don't have to later on in life. Um, use minimum CC and mods at the moment, and you like that? Yeah. I think minimum mods and CC is, like, way better. Less lag, less issues. No, I'm saying here. Try to use the call a sim anymore. Wait, anytime any mod? Wait, try to use call a sim at any time mod. It's so useful. I used to use that mod before, but then I realized, like, I just don't like a lot of mods in my game. But I used to use that mod. I used to have every single mod by Little Miss Sam. Like, every single mod. And then game updated and broke everything. So I deleted everything and never went back. <laughs> I used to have, like, Slice of Life in my game. And a few other mods, too, by Kawaii Stacy. But what can you do? What's UI Cheats? So, basically, UI Cheats is a mod where you are able to manipulate everything in your game. And what I mean by that is like cheat your some skills, aspirations, their needs, their relationships, the season, the time of day, like literally whatever you want. It lets you micromanage your game to the T. And I love that. Maybe that's why console has less issues. We don't have CC or mods. Yeah. I'm excited for Shell Tours as well. Same. Sprinkle? Who the heck is Sprinkle? Oh, that's Speckles. That's weird. Um, we're not that high in our skills anyway. Um, you have too many mods? Uh, what are like your go-to mods though? <laughs> your reply wasn't reply to yourself? <laughs> Mood. I can really anticipate somebody recreating Twilight in The Sims 4. I can really see it. Oh, and this is a family tree, by the way. My family tree isn't that big in this save just because, um, you know, the game breaks every once in the blue moon and doesn't like to work. So 
I literally had to move Gen 6 to a whole new save, like a fresh new save with all like all the same townies that you start a new game with. So yeah, we only have Gen 6 to Gen 11 on this save, but the other save has Gen 1 through 6 because the other save kept crashing every like five minutes and I was like frustrated. So I was like, new save, new time, new Sims. Um, yes, one more hour. Finally, it's about stinking time. I know it was really sad, honestly, but I mean, honestly, though, to be honest, it was a matter of time. I was literally waiting for the time for my game to start crashing more often because I kept playing the same file since 2017 and with all my mods and all of my CC. It was a matter of time. Your mom created, recreated Twilight in The Sims 3 and have Bella and Jacob together. <sighs> Bella, where have you been, Loka? And Loser Timmy, welcome in, welcome in. And yes, this is the extended version of the Not So Berry Challenge. Yes, indeed. Please go. Please win. Please. Finally. I guess for our additions, we have to be at our home lot to do it. That way we're not running late, technically. Um, oh, you did the same with Plum. Gen was glitched bad and couldn't do much. Yeah, I was on Gen, like, I think it was halfway done with Gen 6 career. And then it started, like, breaking. Because Gen 7 was already born and they were a kid at the time. So it was a matter of time. And we passed, finally! So now we have to go to work on a Tuesday for our gig. So develop your comedy skill and research flirty emotion. Okay, that's easy. <laughs> easy. Oh? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> um, let's see. You've been playing the same file since 2017 and you're on Gen 15. You're joining the day to save breaks. Honestly, make sure you take a bunch of photos. Taking those photos will, will last you a long time. I still back up every single save and every single screenshot I've ever taken because I'm sentimental like that and I can't handle my Sims game, no, losing saves, you know? A Gen 11 is the white gen. Also, if I've missed anything, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, I used to have Slice of Life in my game. It was, a, it was such a really, really good mod to use. And then the Plum Fruit mod I had in my game, but it, since Arnie's not gonna update any of his mods after he makes his last mod. I was like, it was a great mod. I don't want to have a broken mod in my game. So I just took it out completely. Um, Cause I knew that mod was gonna break at some point. Edward Cullen went from a vampire to a bat <clears throat> mood. Honestly, Edward's clingy. Is Gen 11 onward just freestyle, whatever you want. Those are the rules right there for my friends. So if you want to know the rules for this generation, actually, the link is in the chat. So we have to complete the actor career and the master actor aspiration, which reminds me, I need to see what our singing skill level is at because we have to get to level five of singing, dancing, and an instrument of our choice. We already did the piano skills level five, level two at singing, and then no dancing skill yet. So we have a couple more days left until we get just up around there. We do have to make a celebrity best friend at some point. So maybe we should go to Delso Valley. They're both clingy. Yeah, but Edward's stalkerish. He like, who watches you while you sleep? That was horrifying. But then again, you knew, you knew got a point. They are both clingy indeed. Charm. You are not famous. Oh my goodness. Reeves. Okay, so let's see. There's really no famous Sims around here, I find, but gotta make some friends at least somewhere. Oh, the hate on Edward is real. You love Edward, but Jasper is your true love. Jasper is one of the good ones. If there was, what? Uh, if there is a not so berry challenge, does it mean that there are bear there is a berry challenge? Not necessarily. I would say it kind of plays off of like the current generation, like what it means, like the mint gen, the rose gen, the 
the yellow gen, you know, stuff like that. I mean, you can make it berry if you want to, but not necessarily. You don't have to. Are you a celebrity? No, you're a fan. Are you a celebrity? You are a B-lister. You can be my friend. Be my friend. You're thinking about coming out to your parents on Pride Month? I hope it goes well for you. Honestly, the past four gens uh, is impressive. Oh, I believe you. Yes. Uh, Dr. Colin didn't didn't get enough screen time in my honest favor. Oh, wait, honest opinion. Oh, I agree with you. He didn't get that much. He was just there, and that was it. So he was. I feel like he was. Um. Just he needed more. He needed more. Um. And The Sims Three testing cheats makes you play The Sims needs. Not like the Sims 4, so so we're compelled to using a cheats, but I think they just must add it to testing cheats in the game. That would be nice, honestly. I think that will like make it better for like just general gameplay. Oh, that's a sim. There's no slums around here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna steal some stars off the ground. Keep my time going and also just like pretend that I'm the only celebrity in this town. Yes. Not so very and so very, just like so random and sunny with a chance. That's true, he did in Eclipse. Eclipse wasn't really my favorite as much as the Twilight films, but I did enjoy Breaking Dawn Part 2 and New Moon. Isn't Jasper a Confederate soldier? Yeah, he was, yeah. Um, oh yeah, I can quickly summarize it for you for the Nuts Berry Challenge. So basically each generation is a different career, aspiration, uh, career, aspiration, skills, and based on those skills and based on that generation, you have to cl complete certain things, basically. Like for this generation right now, we have to complete the master, asp the master actor aspiration, but we also have to complete the actor career all the way to level 10. But we also have to complete uh, level five of the singing skill, dancing skill, and an instrument of my choice. Become a five-star celebrity. Never get married. Have a one-night stand that will accidentally get pregnant, which is toxic and chaotic. And um, and also for Gen 11, we have to be enrolled into the drama club as a child and a teen. So that's kind of like basically what each gen is like. Each gen is always a different career, aspiration, skills. And sometimes some of them are a little bit, a, a lot. I find like gen one, you have to complete the, the elements collection and the career, which was a scientist career. One of the aspirations have at least one kid, I believe. And a few other things that I can't remember off the top of my head, but. It is definitely very self-explanatory, but it's such a really good challenge. I recommend it. It came out in 2017. It was made by Little Simsy and Always Simming. And if you wanted to do it, you technically only really need Get to Work and City Living to play through the whole entire 10 gens, to be honest. But if you wanted to do more, you could. So hopefully that helps you. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Alice is OG. I love Alice. And also games are for moms. Welcome in. Um, oh, I agree with you, Noel. Using the, the testing cheats, um, cheat and but also like doing the show hidden objects. Yes. I love that cheat so much. The element collection is rough. It is. I'm not joking. It took me until my sim was an elder. An elder. To finish that like whole element collection. And what's funny enough, the last element was at our job site. Of all places, of all places. But yeah, there's like different versions of this challenge. Like if you don't have get, get to work or get, get to work or city living, you could technically do the base game version of it if you wanted to, or like some other versions. If you didn't want to do the necessary like regular rules. Oh, wait, that's right. You do need Spa Day. I forgot about that because you need to complete the, um, 
what is it the meditation skill i forgot about that that was for the pink gen so you do need more than two packs i will have to write that down for my video because i'm gonna make a video of talking about completing all 10 generations of the not so berry challenge it may have taken more than five years but it was worth it you started to buy the crystals oh really would you say it was a lot easier? Father, what do you want? Fine, I'll call you. Yeah, you need to get to work for the scientist career. But I think after that, you need it for the... I forget what generation you need it for. Because I know Gen 5, you had to be at least, I think, in the doctor career for, for like a bit. But if you have Discover University, just go to university... To become a doctor and you're already pretty much at the the requirement you need to be at anyway quit the career join the last career that you need to be in um so like give or take a few you need like a lot of them but not really necessarily tell me why did you need more why did i think you need more than one pack i always felt like you needed only two packs to play this challenge but in retrospect you need more than two I kind of forget that stuff packs exist. <laughs> Who am I? Am I a true simmer? Not really. <laughs> uh, you can also just substitute. Yeah, that's also very true. That's true. But yeah, you also need you need the you need parent for the parenting skill. Also, love to sell. Welcome in. <laughs> How are you doing today? Um. You can also randomize the career or the skill of any level where you don't have a pack. That's also very true. Uh, you just got through watching Star Wars The Phantom Menace. You need to chill. Well, welcome in, my friend. How was it, by the way? I'm going to watch the new um, Fantastic Beast movie today with my parents because it came out today on HBO Max. And I'm waiting to watch it, honestly. Is there a microphone? Here it is. I'm going to practice my comedy skill. Let's see. Practice routine. I'm sorry, excuse me? Fine. Father, what do you want? What do you want, Father? I have things to do. Go over here. I'm leaving him. Goodbye, Father. <laughs> it's so easy to make money in The Sims 4 that... That the only way for me to play with multiple generations is to start each one with a new empty lot at zero. You know, that's actually kind of a great way of thinking about it. My friend Rochella does that each generation with, um, or I guess she did with her career legacy challenge. It, you know, it keeps you on your toes. It keeps you on your toes. Am I a real simmer? Am I the drama? No. You know who's a fake simmer? Judas Ward. He's an actual sim. Like squeamish is a form of outdoor retreat. Yes, the squeamish trait is part of outdoor retreat. Yeah. <laughs> this whole time I've been lying about being a simmer. I'm actually a TikToker. Um, I actually play Minecraft, actually. You know? Okay, let's go and tell some jokes. So, Rebelica, since you're a huge Star Wars fan, would you say that you love Journey to Batu? Yeah, I'm excited for the movie night with my parents today. Because it's Memorial Day, if y'all didn't know, in the horrific place that I like to call America with terrible health care. Um, but yeah, it's Memorial Day. And honestly, quite excited about that. Research flirting emotions. Get into flirting emotion or perform. Oh, and perform romantic interactions. Oh, <laughs> interesting. You love Journey to Batu? Wow. Honestly, Journey to Batu is not a bad pack. Who died? Anyway. <laughs> I didn't even see the urn at all. <laughs> Um, I know I have mad skills. Pula Tiangam. Quite a TikToker. Quite a Minecrafter. Stardew Valley streamer. Yep. Mm-hmm. 
I do play other games besides The Sims, by the way. <laughs> I'm the real deal, you know. I basically, I am self spring Sims. I am a Sim, just so you all know. I am the Sims. Kayla might be Kayla Sims, who was born to play The Sims, but I am The Sims. <laughs> um, you don't have to work today, so that's nice. That's good. Working, well, not working today. It's actually kind of nice because it's Memorial Day. We need to relax. Another day to sleep is what we need. Sleep is good for the soul. And Kenya, welcome in. Spring D'Amelio? If I was Spring D'Amelio, where's that money? I need that Dunkin' Donut money. Charlie, chop chop. <laughs> Healthcare do be expensive. It's kind of toxic when you think about it, how expensive it is. It came out just before my birthday, so it was a present from your husband. Oh, that's nice. I did a speed run of Journey to Batu, and surprisingly enough, playing through the order was actually therapeutic. We cannot afford our bills. Oh, no. <laughs> another day, another sleigh. True. She was born to it. You forged it into it. I was forged in it. Yes. <laughs> Mood. Okay. We need to make some money up in here. So we're going to write a book. Earn some residual income. Residual income, besties. Writing a book is what we're here for. I'm poor. Give me money. This is for all of uh, all for my ancestors who didn't give me money. Bring back inherit. How do you spell inheritance? I don't remember. Also, Kenzie, thank you for the follow, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Inheritance. I need to do it in all caps. Oh my gosh. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> Mood. Honestly, though, I think they really should bring back Inheritance in The Sims 4. Because they had in The Sims 3. Do you think the Bigfoot stuffy being once a million is a mistake? I feel like it could be a hint. It could be a hint, honestly. Kind of funny that it is one simoleon. And Hobie, welcome in. How are you doing today? <laughs> it's Struggle Help Sun. Yeah, it is. Oh, so if you weren't here yesterday, um, yeah, so if you weren't here yesterday, we, pl we basically played The Sims 2 rags to riches because The Sims 3 refused to work. So we played The Sims 2 instead, and we found so many treasure chests that day, like at least three of them, and some good quality items. And we earned at least 21,000 simoleons in under three hours. So that was kind of nice, honestly. Yes, you like writing. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I know, it was so nice. I'm like, wait, this is actually kind of great. So Gen 2 might be happening very soon. I'm very, very excited about that but yeah kenzie maya welcome in we're playing the sims for not so berry challenge right now at the moment and we're trying to earn some quick money i think they need to bring back a lot of things from the superior sims 3 what about the sims 2 though they should bring back everything from the sims 3 give me generations or i weep because we love the sims 2 <laughs> it loves uh Loves us back. Sims 3 was not loving us yesterday. It was not. Sims 2 loves us more than The Sims 3. And that says a lot. I do, however, kind of sort of not really miss the imaginary friend from The Sims 3. But I do miss the treehouse that we got from The Sims 3. Yeah. But then again, though, I don't know. But also, though, going back to what Love the Soda said, I feel like this might be a hint but then I also feel like it could be a mistake. Or, there we go. <laughs> but I don't know, what do you think? 
Because the fact that that's one simoleon and there's another like stuffy that's 50 simoleons like toilet paper in the game is wild. I want memories back. You, you and me both. I would love the memory system back. Please. That was a nice system. The memory system from The Sims 2 was fantastic. Ooh, I can invite over the co-workers and cast members. This gives me a chance to meet some famous Sims to flirt with. Okay. Socialize, no order, no comedy. How do I... Oh, I have to go into this one right here. I have to do a steamy shower. Here we go. Sims 2, but with four, Sims 4 graphics would be epic. Yes. Sims 5. Also, you love that they both added Bigfoot and Littlefoot. Uh, both as toys and the kit, right? And speaking of Littlefoot, if anyone has seen The Land Before Time, The Land Before Time, you know what I'm talking about. Littlefoot, Sarah, Petrie, um, Spike, and uh, Sarah. Love Littlefoot. Love The Land Before Time. You don't need to give them imaginary friend. True. You don't have to, but I feel like I've always wanted one in the game. But that thing was creepy. It was creepy. Are they coming over? They're not coming over? You think it's a bug, but you don't, but you wanted to save for my racks, which is you and me both. Cause you know our sins be poor on a Sunday afternoon in this game. It's ridiculous. You want Zodiac signs? Yes! Zodiac signs! Is it a glitch that parents can't play with the kids on the new dollhouse? Wait, is that a glitch? Besties, you might be right. You might be right, because normal- well, technically, actually... Oh, I think if your sim has a, the childish trait, they can play on the dollhouses, but I think originally they couldn't. I don't know. It's definitely a mistake. I feel like it'd probably be 100 simoleons. Yeah. And Tavico, welcome in. Dating that body hair is what sense. Yes. Save Bob pancakes. Yes. I'm going to do a video on YouTube where I'm going to give Bob pancakes the life that he deserves without Eliza. An aspiration meter. That was pretty good. I did like the aspiration meter from The Sims 2. Uh, I think the thing that we need to remember is not to speculate too hard on ideas. That's also very true. Speculating can only lead to sadness. You are correct. You are correct. You love Petrie? <laughs> Do you remember the, the, the uh, TV show that they did? Your parents play with the kids on the new dollhouse? Interesting. You don't think adults can interact with it? Oh. No! Why are you running away? I already fed you! Automod's struggling. Okay. Let's put out an APB. My dear old cat, Caviar. We just ran away. Actually, wait a minute. They haven't run away yet. Um, he said puppet. Twitch doesn't know what they're doing. <laughs> you remember the show? I used to watch it all the time. Caviar, come back here. Does anyone know how to renew your sub right now? When does your sub run out, though? Hello? Hi. Um, usually Twitch will tell you when your sub runs out. There'll be, there will be like a, um, a thing in the chat, but I think also you can check your Twitch settings, I think. I don't remember. June 5th. Ah, so like in a couple days then. Nice. Caviar, hello? Ca it, what? This cat done ran away. This cat's still going. Where are you going? You know what? You're not running away. You're coming back home. You're crazy. This cat's doing too much. This is why I have the selectable pet mod in my game for these reasons and these reasons only. Because they're being extra for no reason. Excuse memoir? No, I only in The Sims. Only in The Sims. 
Yeah, that was my mom. Yeah. I don't have a pet IRL, but I want one so badly. I'm not joking. I really do. One day. Why are you running? <laughs> He's not running away. He's just strolling away. There's a difference. True. Can you be in a flirty mood? Oh, we have to research it. Duh. Research. Um, also, I'm doing a short stream today, so I'm only streaming for like another like 45 minutes, technically. Um, how do I research? Oh, wait, what? How do I? Oh. Wait, how do I research? Oh, get into a flirty emotion to perform romantic interactions. Oh, let's go for it with the random sim. It was nice hanging out. You guys are awesome. Got to cook dinner. Yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for hanging out with us today. See you hopefully next time for another stream. Hopefully tomorrow. Tomorrow we're playing The Sims 4, but we're actually going to be doing shell tours. So I'm very excited. You have a, a regular one and you just remembered. Uh, you turned off auto renew. So you're going to reset on the, on the 5th and keep auto renew on. Oh, cool. I usually end up doing auto renew because I always forget. But with Twitch Prime, I need to always auto like manually renew. You don't have any pets either, but you have some ghosts rolling around your house. So I may not have pets, but you but I have uh that. You do indeed have those type of pets to keep you company. You'll be there. Bye, Day Ninja. See you next time. Who died? Mito. Okay, well. Nice. This is for with you. Hello. Nice to meet the your Pragante. <laughs> uh, you live in Saskatchewan. Oh, you live in Saskatchewan. They're so they're saying there that in Saskatchewan you can watch your dog run away for three days. Three days. That's a lot of days. Take it. <laughs> it belongs to the family. Are you sure, though? Are you sure it belongs to the family? Does it really? I don't even know the sim. Let's put it outside. Give them a proper, like, a proper, you know, area. You know what I would love to have back in the sims for? Proper graveyards. Like, a graveyard lot type. I was watching Deli's, like, speed run of a 10 gens in the sims 4 video. And she was saying that she wanted to have a graveyard lot type. And I would love that back. It's been 10 years of Subway Surfer. 10 years? I'm sorry, I'd rather not know that. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit hurt by that now. Are you getting uh, that laptop in a week or so? Oh, no more console gameplay for you. I am kind of sad though for you because you have to rebuy all the packs is the sad part. You have to rebuy all the packs. But that's still great, though. You can get your laptop and no more console gameplay for you. Very good. This house is huge. It is. This house is actually... This was built by... Ooh. I don't know who built this house, but it came with the new My Wedding Stories game pack and was built by one of the game changers. But I'm not entirely sure who it was. Um, oh my gosh, no. Uh, the past two years don't count. True, 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 true. <gasps> oh, wait, we're going to work. Finally, we're finally going to the acting business. I'm not joking, besties. I have not played with the actor career in forever. Like it's been like a couple years. You don't have that too. And you use your, you're using your friend's account. Ah. You love a graveyard lot type? Same. I think just makes it nice. Because I know in The Sims 2, I think I think when a Sim died, you have the option to click on the grave and then transport that grave to a certain lot. Which I thought was really cool. Yeah, Simsy got sponsored by Lenovo um, Intel Gaming yesterday. And that's really, really cool. I love N Lenovo and I also love Intel. I've had Intel for like years, like literally all my entire life. I've always had Intel, 
I have like an i9 Intel Core processor, which is like a brand new one that they have, but I think they also have a i9? Yeah, an i9. Oh, bundles are epic, yes. If you're trying to get a pack of, of your dreams, always, always get the bundles. Hair and makeup, let's go and get our hair and makeup done over here. Uh, guess who just finished filming a new YouTube video? Hobie, a YouTuber? Oh my gosh. Hobie. YouTuber, are you making a comeback then? Now that you have so much time on your hands, you're about to make some YouTube videos? In, since October? That's a long time. Me was Instagram <laughs> and vlogging. We're going to work. Um, do you really have to repurchase the Sims 4 if you switch from platform to platform? Yes. Like if you bought your stuff, like if you bought the Sims 4 on Steam and you want to switch from Steam to Origin, you have to rebuy everything. And if you played on console, you want to go to PC or Mac, you have to rebuy everything, which is so annoying. But then it kind of makes sense because all like the coding and the, the the platform in general are so different. Money. Wild. And also, Mimi, welcome in. How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome. Making a comeback for the career legacy challenge. Ooh, that's a good challenge. If you need any help with, you know, YouTube or anything, hit me up. We love a good Hobie sensation video, don't we all? Pietro made a new YouTube video. Pietro? I'm sorry, what? Wait, did you just call Hobie Pietro? <laughs> it's Lenovo Legion Y5 45 model. Ooh, okay, that's a good one. Origin's not allow me, allowing, wait, is allowed to die ever? Please, if Origin dies, I'm gonna scream. Uh, what? What in the Chad Dylan Cooper is this? Anyway, let's go and get ourselves in our costume for our gig. Which reminds me, I need to save my game. I can't tell how many times, I can't tell you how many times I had to rebuy all the packs. Oof. I don't want to think about that because I'm not joking. I stick with one platform and one platform only. Your game crashed and now you lost all your progress on your build in the last two hours? Oh, that's not good. I am so sorry to hear that. By the way, besties, if you're playing The Sims or any game, save your game. Oh, Hobie was asking a question and you simply answered, oh. <laughs> I didn't know. Who's Chad Dylan Cooper? Um, a character from a show called Sunny with a Chance on Disney Channel. Is Tab calling me a clown? Chad Dylan Cooper from Sunny with a Chance on Disney Channel. Okay, tell the director we're ready. Practice acting. Where? Where, 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 where? Maybe we should post on Instagram a little bit. We're going to practice acting a little bit for this. <laughs> Thanks for running for saving. Yes. I'm really a Minecrafter. Yeah. I'm a Minecrafter, if y'all didn't know. I don't play The Sims. This is actually, actually, if y'all didn't know, Minecraft got a major, major, major big update recently. And it looks like this. It's very um, 3D, not blocky anymore. They just got a major update. So if you didn't update Minecraft, now is your time. Time to update Minecraft, everyone. It's a new, it's called Minecraft The Life Simulator. Minecraft 2.0, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But imagine if Minecraft turned into this, that'd be funny. Okay, so we have to get to know someone on set and post a Instagram story. Easy. At least I can pay my bills. Let's do, there we go. <laughs> imagine if it was. <laughs> you sincerely laughed IRL. <laughs> imagine if that happened. Honestly, I don't know how I would feel if Minecraft looked like this. I would feel so annoyed, but confused at the same time. The acting career is a lot of fun. It's an interactive career where you go to work with your sim on set. Like, it you're literally on a Hollywood set. This is what it looks like up above. Like you have like little sets over here, like stuff down here. Like it looks like an actual Hollywood studio. And I have to say it looks phenomenal. I love the actor career so much like this. Okay, I was gonna get to know some of our, co our co-workers on set here today. 
background actor. Hello. And also the most Anna, welcome in. You got a ThinkPad Lenovo T580 business laptop that you use for everything, including all your PC gaming and streams. And you get it for free when your uncle upgraded to his iMac laptop. Hey, when it's free, it's a great day. And welcome back from your alert car car. You think you need to update Minecraft? I've been playing with my my niece and what if she doesn't know what I'm playing? You know, kids these days love Roblox. I don't do a Roblox moment. Roblox scares me. Your four-year-old loves watching a child who is about 10 who streams Roblox. Wow. <laughs> My childhood is in his personality inventory mood. Wait, sir, you don't have time to go to the bathroom. We have acting we have to do, okay? Actually, first, we're going to compliment you on set. Compliment a sim. You can pee when you die. Stop spring and making me want to buy and get famous now. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't oppose if you bought get famous today. Where's the potty? Wait, what? Was this always like this? Roblox is weird. Yeah, I'm a Roblox streamer. If you all didn't know this, um, I actually won an award for the top Roblox streamer, YouTuber, content creator of the year a couple years ago. So not to brag or anything. Pretty a popular Roblox player. <sighs> Um, is there a build that you have seen in Stranger Things? No, not yet, actually. Like, I binge watched the entire thing and I'm going to rewatch it slowly. So I'm not, so I'm not rushing through it. So not yet, not yet though. But I have thought about it. I might, I've been thinking about recreating, uh, the new house that they live in. I'm not going to name the name because I don't want to spoil, but like, you know, the house that they live in now in the area. I have been thinking about doing that, but I want to go back and rewatch everything just to really make sure. The timer on the acting gigs is super, is a super stressor. Oh, it is. Luckily though, you can like, oh, never mind. We cannot stay late. I know that usually with the get to work careers, you can stay late, but with the actor career, you can't. That co-star is wearing my favorite style of dress. It's the, uh, what to grab. What to ground gown? Hmm. What's a good not to bury last name that isn't Barry? Hmm. What about I almost I almost said what about Thornberry? No, I'm kidding. Um, I guess a good last name could be JJ Flick. What the zip? Uh Parsley, maybe that could be a good name. Also, by the way, thank you. I almost said Lay Miz. Uh, Lam Thesis, thank you for the $50 donation to St. Jude, by the way. Thank you, thank you so, so much. Not fish, no! Oh my gosh, I'm sad. But thank you for the $50 donation to St. Jude. Now we're getting very, very close. Like we are literally $1 away from hitting. $1,700 for St. Jude, and then we're $300 away from hitting it, to hitting 2K. But thank you, thank you so, so much for that lovely donation. Uh, uh, I don't think I say your name, I don't think I say your name at all completely right, but Lamb, thank you for the $50 donation, by the way. But Fish died! It says, hi, Jed, I'm calling to let you know that your that Fish has passed away. I'm so sorry for your loss. Why? My internet child fish is now gone. Can I click on you? I can. No. Man. Four kids and they did all this? What a legend. Not fish, my fish. And we fed them good fish too. Y'all talk about how good Stranger Things is. I might have to watch it. Do it. Honestly, love the show. I think you will definitely love Stranger Things. Season one's good, I would say. And then, because my order of how I would rate it is season one, three, two. But if I add in season four, it would be one, four, 
three two because season two just felt weird to me i find um you're certainly doing the decades challenge so it's so much fun it's so much fun but so much oh i believe you father what do you want no i'm acting so now that we can start our lovely commercial gig we have to perform the mop scene risky Ooh, i like how it lays it out all for you let's do a safe mop <laughs> this is the saddest day of my life rip rip fish fish we've known you so well what is free spirit so many kids so little time Stranger Things has everything anyone could, could like in it. Yeah, and it's based in the 80s as well. This is so cool. Look at this. Your sons are actually acting. Um, we, have ga we, we are gathered here today to remember Fish. The cat had too many kittens, but who was loved anyway. You are very correct, Mundo. Let's do a risky flirt. Who are you? Tell me why I thought this was... um. Nina Caliente. We're going to do a risky flirt. You can't wait for the fairs. I can't wait for the fairs for you as well. I'm going to have a lot of fun, good seats times. I'm excited for you, Devil Oceana. Yes, and retro. Yep. Horror, mystery, romance, comedy. All retro. Indeed it is. And she's Pregante. This is my child. Did I do it? Oh, I didn't do it. Wait, 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 wait. Where else? <gasps> Where else? Okay. Let's do a safe, let's do a safe joke. Oh. Ooh. Whoever, whoever she is, Prego. Oh, and look at this. They got the direct over here telling you action, all the people, the cameras. I think that's like super cool. The camera's moving. The director's here directing us. I think that's really cool. Okay, so next we have to do a kissing scene. Let's do a safe kissing scene. Looks like Katrina in that shirt, true. You guys have a, a Katrina vibe. You've actually never played any of the careers where you have to go and do them. Honestly, I think the get to work careers are pretty fun. I did have more fun with the detective career more. And then playing through the acting career with get famous, it's actually really different for me. So I'm pretty pleased with it. Okay. This is so cool. So what do we do now? We're done with our acting right now with our scene. And all we have to do now is nothing else. Our job here is done. This is actually a sneak peek of Nita Calente's makeover. <laughs> Imagine. I gotta refresh my Twitch is being blurry. Oh no, not the blurry Twitch. You were hoping for a risky kissy, you know, probably next round. Next round could be this, could be next. Okay, what we got? What we got? What we got? What we got? Plus, I think we only need to complete... Oh, a gold for aspiration. Man, we got a silver. So it says, that's a wrap. Judd has finished all his scenes. The crew is shutting down and the footage is being sent over to editing. So we can stay on the lot if we want to, or we can go home. I'm going to stay on the lot for a little bit. But we got promoted to guest star and now new auditions are available. And we're a notable newcomer. This is good. This is good for us. Very, very good. Oh, she is Pregante. By who? Wait a minute. That last name sounds very familiar. The craziest day your sim had this job where she went into labor before she got to go on set. Barely got bronze that day. Oof. Talk about speed run, if I'm telling you. Wait, I know the Laurent family. They're from Tartosa. She's an actor? Oh. Interesting. You have never done the acting career like this. I've always sent them alone. I think it's a lot more fun because you get to see what happens, I find. So let's gonna find another gig since we're part of the Everyday Extra Talent Agency. We don't get that much. But let's do the the void bop. And this starts we have an audition tomorrow at seven. We have to work on our fitness skill, looks like, which is at art at level two. But Tommy, our one night stand will be with Tommy from Get Famous. No, I mean from, uh, from, from, uh, what's the, what's the place called? Tartosa? Going to the bathroom BRB, all good, all good. Is it just me or are the pack icons in the game very blurry low quality? I haven't noticed anything. 
for me. By the way, y'all, I helped a, a baby starling after he fell out of the nest today. Oh, trying to learn how to fly. That's so nice that you helped them. That's cute. You found two baby birds in the backyard last week? Oh. And I'm finally starting to use my water bottles now. I'm using my Game Changer water bottle. I like these tumblers because they keep my water cold at least. Not sponsored, you know. I did have a sponsor stream with EA like ages ago. I think this was back in like February. Um, but I do have a sponsored stream coming up soon that I'm very excited for you all to see. Because I've been waiting to get this sponsorship for ages. I'm not joking, ages. This was a brand that I've been I've been loving for like months on end. And they reached out to me when the sponsor stream. And I'm very happy about that. So more details coming soon. Why are you smelly? Why are you dirty? Have you been rolling in filth? Um, I think with the posture check, uh, the phony simmer. This little guy wandered into a busy street, so you helped him so he wouldn't get ran over. Oh, that's nice that you helped them. Earn a gold in a commercial acting gig. This is going to be the death of me. I already know it. Fitness skill. Must work on that. But Tommy, actually, I should invite you over here now that I think about it. You don't, I don't think you work. Do you? You have a job? Tommy. Flirty text. Uh, you have a... Wait, I'm a Conchi, wait, Contigo bottle girl? Hmm. Okay. I usually go with like plastic water bottles, but plastic is just not ideal, I find. So I find myself wanting to always go with refillable. Otherwise I would have left him alone because I knew he was testing his wings and was, and was bound to stable out. At least you help, which is good. Helping animals who are struggling is, I think, is a good thing to do. Also, if what if the Sims paid Simmers to give them ideas for pack and updates? I mean, that would be nice. <laughs> that would be nice, honestly, not gonna lie. But I think they already do that anyway. I'm sure they paid... Agatha Ordinario, what are you doing? Okay, interesting. Anyway, basically, I'm pretty sure, like, the people who made, like, make the builds for our packs now, I'm pretty sure EA paid them already. Like, I mean, I'm sure EA paid them. They pay people <laughs> for, like, they don't work for free. That would be just rude. But I'm sure, like, they paid them for their time, of course, like, the people that pay, like the people that um, built the houses for like Sony Escape and like uh, the most recent packs, like City, I think Cottage Living, Snowy Escape, and a few others. I think I don't know. I'm sure they paid them. Oh no, like ideas for packs. Oh, then I don't think so. No, I don't. I don't know. Never say never. <laughs> never say never. Okay, let's do and things about vampires. Maybe I should do a little fame thing. Yeah, earn some fame. Wait, this is kind of a big deal, but forecasts are in and people are saying your performance was unexpected and decent. Decent? How great was that? You didn't fall in an Axel TV show? Oh, interesting. Hmm. Yeah, your water bottle is Goru the child on it. Very good. Gotta keep the ideas and the funds of the child in the in your grasps. I think the child is pretty cool. Which reminds me, I want to watch Star Wars again. It's been a minute. Yeah, those three packs. Yeah, I know that would be really cool, but not. Uh, but not. But yeah, it's not a thing yet. Not a thing yet. Also, the fact that they called my work decent is kind of rude. Wait, don't tell me they- did she leave? Did tell- did tell me leave? She straight up left. She said she wanted to hang out and then left me. 
Rude. Rude. The Sims used to be, they used to give us polls for packs. Like, that was fun. Yeah, it was. Like, honestly, I remember when they did the, um, the, uh, what, what do you call them? Yeah, those polls. What, what were they called? What, what were they called? Community voted packs. Yes. I remember when, because we voted for, um, laundry day stuff. And then we also voted for, um, another pack that I can't remember. What do you think the gurus are teasing on Twitter? Werewolves. I honestly believe that they're teasing about werewolves at this point. Because there's so, there's so many hints. So many hints in that, like those messages. When you de like decrypt it and everything, it screams the werewolves. Because all the hieroglyphics, the moon, the stars, those little random lights. But what do you think? I don't understand what the Sim Guru Connor posted on Twitter. A little teaser, a little hint without explaining much. It could be an occult for werewolves or something else. This is the blog post that the Sims community posted, kind of explaining a little bit more into it. And also, Alice in Neverland, welcome in. How are you doing? Nifty Knitting, that's the one. Nifty Knitting and Laundry Day stuff. See, I voted for Nifty Knitting. No, 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 that's a lie. I voted for laundry day stuff because I wanted laundry in The Sims 4. Paranormal stuff. Yeah. I know the Dr. Ashley, Dr. Ashley, who's a YouTuber and a streamer, built the, ha the haunted house for that pack. We're good friends. Ooh, woo. First kiss. I'm going to cheat your needs, bestie. If it's not werewolves, I think we'll be able to, we'll be shocked. I think we'll all be shocked if it's not werewolves. But then I would kind of laugh in um, sadness if it's not. What if they're making the clue so obvious? Just <laughs> the trick us and, and then it's actually something random. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised. They were like, ha ha, you all thought it was werewolves. We're actually getting um, generations. <laughs> Imagine, that'd be funny. <laughs> it's like we're actually getting generations, first and foremost, yes. I wonder if it's werewolves and fairies with moon magic. Ooh, you know, that could be another good thing. If they tie in both werewolves and fairies, I mean, I've been down for that. Not him doing the ugly pose. That's crazy. Okay, let's see. We'll exchange numbers. This is actually working for our romance because we're about to have a one night stand. <laughs> it's headlights for a bike. <clears throat> imagine. No, that would be so, so funny. Like, imagine like if they um they announce it on like Thursday or whatever, and this says we're actually getting headlights. We're getting new bikes. There you go. But if that was the case, Sims Twitter will be in an, in an uproar. If we did not get werewolves and it was just bikes, I would not go on Twitter that day. That's also very true. Usually, occults only are, are like one pack. Yeah. You can imagine that happening because that would be a bad marketing move. Oh, it would be. It would be. Tell, reveal deep secrets. She's Pregante, so she has to wait for a little bit longer. That's okay. But since we're still here, we have our audition at 7 p.m. tomorrow, and our fitness is already okay. It's okay with me. But I will head actually head back home, though. We're here. Mm, you thought werewolves? Guess what? It's bands. <laughs> I wouldn't be opposed to bands. No way it would be bikes. I mean, honestly, yeah, that's true. <laughs> there's no way it could be bikes either. Because there's so many things on there. Like, if it was bikes, I would scream. But when you translate it, it says a territory marking log and welcome to Moonwood Mills. Moonwood Mills. It screams like forest and something else. I don't know. Like woodsy, maybe? One dollar, Hobie? One dollar for the kids? He would take bands so fast. So would I. 
We're just memeing at this point, and I love it. Anyway. Uh, what if it's some type of kids pack that was family-friendly Bigfoot? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe. I like St. Jude. Ooh. St. Jude has helped push the children childhood cancer race. St. Jude has helped push the childhood cancer survival rate from less than 20% when we opened to 80% today. That's nice. That's a big number. From 20 to 80, huge jump. You had to refresh and now you lost your train of thought? Me. Me every day when I stream. Hey, thank you for the $1 donation, Hobie, for Saint to St. Jude. Now getting our total to $1,700 for St. Jude. And we're only 300 away from hitting 2,000. Werewolves, actually it's sleepovers, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, funny enough, one cookie, I actually would be okay with webcams. And also say to welcome in, how are you doing today? Um, can you get off the counter? Can you get off the counter, please? Um, caviar, thank you. 1.7K, where's my button? Here's my button, I'm gonna turn it on. I have my button. Oops, wrong one. Here it is. Yeah! <laughs> Yay! I have two, I have literally two of these buttons. I have two buttons. One is in my closet and this one's just out here. That cat just jumped over the stove. They said, danger. Do you know when the new pack will be released? In June. I mean, like, they they already said in their roadmap that they were going to do two kits in a game pack. We already know the two kits already have them. And that was in May. And so all we have left is June. So I anticipate June. And Maxi Cat, welcome in. How are you doing today? We're in the Generation 11, but there's officially like 10 gens with the original rules by Simsy and, and Zoe. But we're doing the extended one, which goes up to 13. And so in Gen 11, we're an actor, but we're already at, we're already at level four of our career, which is kind of great. So the best way to get famous, <laughs> get famous. <laughs> um, so level five in singing, level five in dancing. Okay, I think I might work on my singing skill while we're still here at home for the day. So we can get that a little bit higher. And I'm glad you're doing well today. I'm doing good. I've just been chilling mostly. Today's Memorial Day. My parents are over. They have food and I am hungry. So they brought the goods here for me to eat. And I'm happy about that. But so far, so good. Can't complain. Nice weather, not as busy, which is surprisingly interesting that it's not hot, busy outside. Okay. But so far, so good. You think June uh, 24th? Uh, one from the clues? Wait, the clues? Really? There were clues for the 24th? Hmm. Because what day is that, the 24th? That is a Friday. Hmm. I feel they're gonna going to do something maybe like something on Thursday, but I feel like it could be released on the on the fourteenth, either the fourteenth, sixteenth, or the twenty first. I don't know. Yeah, Maple Love. Mm -hmm. I know my parents are awesome. I don't know if they're still here or not. I think they left. Yeah, my parents brought me food. I mean, I already have food in my fridge, but it's Memorial Day. My dad barbecued. And it's just relatively lovely. I love food. I also like when my dad barbecues. It's wonderful. Uh, I think it's like brats, hamburgers, baked beans, I think. And something else. Usually EPs are given on, given on Fridays. Oh... Hmm. Okay. Then we might be on to something then. Because they didn't really have anything for their roadmap for July. So there's a possibility that could, there could be something for July for an EP. If it's werewolves, I want body hair because I am on console. You don't, And you can't have nice things. That would be a nice addition to add in body hair into the game. If we got werewolves. 
Let me get off stream early for for some bar BBQ too. Same. Yeah, I'll be ending in like 10 minutes, mainly. But at least we kind of got through this whole thing, which is nice. You really hope we get Generations expansion in July? If we do get Generations in July, I don't, I don't know how I would react. I think I would honestly be an emotional wreck. Because you don't know how long I have wanted Generations in The Sims. Ever since The Sims 3 Generations, I've wanted it in The Sims 4. Like a social media profile. Uh, if citrus stale, eat other root. Fate will be it. Axe sky snacker Alps raid lay two forty six. Huh. Interesting. You made hamburger soup. What is hamburger soup? I've never heard that before in my life. But that sounds kind of delicious though. You love when your sims scoot to their little booties under the bed? I think it's so adorable. I like when your sims can scoot. Because you can put the beds against the wall. I did I did see that they were going to release a Street Hustler update for BitLife and Besties, by the way. I've officially reached 5,000 generations. No, that's a lie. I've officially reached 5,000 years in BitLife, but I'm currently on 111 generation right now in bit life so doing pretty good for myself i have 8.3 billion dollars in accumulated wealth amongst all the generations in the past 5,000 years of me playing what can you do in generations literally everything that you can do irl <laughs> so with generations in the sims 3 what was so good about it is that you have the option to teach your kids how to drive um graduation prom um, tree houses, walking canes for elders, video cameras to videotape literally anything you wanted to show on the TV, um, secret teen parties when your parents could have a free vacation. Um, I don't know. There was like literally everything you could do that you could imagine for family gameplay. Oh, we had strollers in The Sims 3 as well. I miss the walking canes from The Sims 3. Even strollers. I miss that stuff. I wish your Sims could actually stop crying. You're fine. Um, I wish your Sims could actually get a, like a flu shot or whatever. Cause in the Sims three, you could get that when it was, I think fall, pretty sure. Guys, they, they dropped new, new hint code. Wait, where? Where? Uh, oh no, you're fine. No, I am not Haitian. No, no. But I believed in the Haitian community for years, since 2011, since the earthquake. Mm, you need to start, you need to start playing BitLife again. Do it. I usually have all of my Bit citizens become actors, musicians, lawyers, a life of crime. Give or take a few. Like my, my previous life, um, I became out of life at 36 years old in BitLife. So much chaos, so much drama. I had like 13 kids. Ridiculous. Driving in The Simpsons was hilarious. Like, I'm not joking. They would drive so slow. It contains a code, like the previous one. Do you know what which guru it was? By the way, if you know, um, put it in chat. Uh, let's see. Have you gotten your... I have, yeah, I have gotten my bits and send people over like past a hundred. The longest it has taken me, or I guess the oldest was a hundred and ten. But uh, there's an achievement I think they had to reach a hundred and twenty. Oh, Bailiff is pure chaos. It is. There's so much chaos and drama in my playthroughs that you would think it was wild, and it is. Sim Guru Self. Hmm. Sim Guru Self. Oh my gosh, there's so many Sim Gurus on here. Wowzers. Okay. Oh, like add a bingo, maybe like have an interaction where elderly Sims are able to whack other Sims with canes. Yes, and retirement homes. Yes. 
I would love a retirement home right now. But the other thing, though, what would be very dangerous, Rebecca, you know Agnes Cronklebottom. She's already an elder. She does not deserve a cane. That's called life-threatening, I find. Um... Oh, I already know this one. Oh, I've, se I've seen this one, actually. Yeah, I've seen this one. You just saw the hint code The Sims gave us? What the heck? Yeah, on Twitter. And also, uh, Letty Sue, thank you for the tier one sub, by the way. I really, really appreciate that so, so much. Give me some hype and some love in the chat, please, and thank you. Oh, and BitLife is a text-based life simulation game on your phone, and it's free. You can get it on the Apple Store or the Android Store, Google Play Store. Um, so, yeah. You do not dislike singing. You must be crazy. Um, but yeah. Text-based life simulation game. It's like The Sims, but times 1,000. So it's a little bit chaotic, I would say. What if The Sims could could have ages? If that is that too much? No, I don't think so. I don't think that's too much. I think I would love that. And uh, Lizzie, see you next time. Thank you for hanging out with us today. See you later. Let's go eat some lunch. Simgru survived the century conflict. Oh, he did. <gasps> they did. Okay. Oh, there's more. Mm. This is giving me werewolf vibes. You all know, if you've seen a lot of Vampire Diaries and the originals, you know. These are like some real werewolf vibes right here. I saw Nova actually as well, too. Super heck. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Yeah, basically Agnes plus Kane equals extreme violence. Yeah. If they go with all the extra doctors and colon cleaning uh, all the time and exercise all the time, the bit people will live forever. And you've got over 120. Okay, I think I need to do that then. <laughs> Super heck. <laughs> That's a funny name, by the way. Um, but thank you for the prime sub, by the way. Thank you, thank you so, so much. Um, not seeing anything new on Twitter. I just saw Simgru's uh, so silo. Oh, something. Um, but yeah. <laughs> not killing any of my Sims. You are crazy. I'm not doing that. I would never ever kill any of my Sims for a million dollars. If you give, if <laughs> I would, I would literally make one Sim unalive in one of my legacies if you donate $300 to St. Jude. Nova says, where do all these frogs come from? Hmm. Hmm. Emmer Hulakin, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing swell. Oh no, the pancakes are spoiled. All of my sins always end up not eating the correct type of food. It's okay, you have two hours up until our acting gig is ready. Uh Kaylin MB, thank you so much for the for the for the tier one sub, by the way. Thank you, thank you so so much. But yeah, I'll do wacky and crazy things if you donate to St. Jude. For the kids. <laughs> For the kids. Um, Iron Seagull retweeted something. Oh, he did? Oh, there's so much, there's so much info to like unpack today. Like it's not even funny. It's crazy. Yeah. Well, I might kill us in life one of my Sims for a million dollars. You know, same. But then I would just donate all to charity. <laughs> um, one million, Bessie. Be right back. Let me just... <laughs> Sir, you're going to be smelly going to your audition like this. Don't do that. Oh, you got the shell done. You haven't uploaded it yet. Uh, I do have the little campers kit. Yes. I have all the packs, including the kit. Yes. Yes, feel free to upload it now. I'm very, very excited for Shell Tours tomorrow. Very, very excited. And Kaylin, thank you for the 25 bits, by the way. Thank you, thank you so, so much. And Ash of Death, welcome in. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Yee, I'm so excited. Okay, so... What? Intarnation? Okay. 
So we have our audition in 13 minutes time. And then we're going to wrap up stream for in a minute. And we'll save the clip for tomorrow. Besties. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, that was literally what it was called. I survived the sensory conflict. <gasps> literally. Okay. You best believe it. There's going to be a way where I'm going to recreate Twilight in The Sims 4. You're about to unalive your Sims ex, so he doesn't have to stop texting her. Mood. I have a lot of Sims texting my Sim at 3 a.m., but when I do it, they see they make it they they think it's annoying. Like you texted me, you called me at 3 a.m., but when I do it, you think I'm crazy. Make it make sense, you know. Make it make sense. You're a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit, uh, scared first time I'm submitted one. Don't worry, keep on that. I'm going to love it either way. But yeah, tomorrow's stream is all about shell tours. So we're going to tour some shells that we had from our previous shell challenge. We passed. Yay. So our next audition is for the void critter, um, void bop commercial. Is there a way to block someone in the Sims? Not to my knowledge. Uh, you zoned out and then you heard Twilight in The Sims and now I'm intrigued. I mean, if we get werewolves, we already have vampires in The Sims, so it's like a matter of time. Twilight in The Sims 4, the collab that we were waiting for without actually collabing with, you know, Stephanie Meyer and the production team of that movie franchise. <laughs> um, that and then when you come to your house... And use the facilities, but when you do it, it's inappropriate. It's like, what? Am I the drama? Like, that's crazy, you know? Sims and their needs. Wild. But it is helpful, though, to have the always welcome reward trait, though. So you can always have that. Which I do not have. But before we get that, I want to get the... I want to get the... Ooh, not the creative visionary, but entrepreneurial... I want to get the entrepreneurial reward trait. That way we're more likely to get promoted in our career. So we'll get this one. And then we'll have to wait a little bit to get the always welcome. So that might take a minute to get then. Uh, the conflict has been talked about. Wait, has been talked in addition to the military career. Mm. That is an idea. I think they're hinting to the world of Moonwood Mills. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you've been wanting to fight when... Oh, you've been wanting to fight when Sims go to your fridge and eat your food? Literally smack down time right now. Fighting Sims because they do the absolute uttermost of being ridiculous. One about the frogs is confusing me. So, is, so am I. I'm a little bit confused as well about the frog one. Because... I guess frogs do, you know, actually, when you think about it, frogs do technically equal a curse, I find. Like, every once in the bloom, like, if you've watched, like, Hocus Pocus, like, all these other different magic movies, sometimes frogs equal a curse or frogs equal to be uncursed of being a werewolf or something. And also, Rebecca, thank you for the 100 bits, by the way. Thank you, thank you so, so much. Um... The same my sim my sim's grandma called to visit at 10 8, at 10, like 10 p.m. And then even after declining, she arrives at midnight. Like, excuse me, I'm trying to sleep. This girl came into your class all upset, and apparently her sim had become unalive that morning because she was pulling an all-nighter. And she was like, It's been a very emotional day. You know, honestly, I can get behind that. I've been a subject of crying about my sims dying without without pulling an all-nighter traumatic <laughs> mummy mummy that's mm, that's also very true that could be an idea the mummies from the sims 3 world adventures that's an idea frog biblical plague maybe i can get behind it as well and also skunky or skunky uyt welcome in how are you doing today okay not my thing breaking. Go repair this. You're broke. Go down here. 
honestly, I'm so sad because my friend of mine had randomly blocked you on everything. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Well, your friend's stinky for blocking you on every single, every single platform. That's weird. So your friend's stinky. Unacceptable. Did they give you a reason? Praise, give, pie. Your sim John yesterday and she just had a baby and her hubs was two days left. No, that is, that's, that's, oof. that's a lot. That's a lot to handle. I don't think I actually had a sim drown in a very long time. Yes, donate to St. Jude Besties. You are correct. We're only $300 away from hitting 2K. And tomorrow is actually our last and final day of raising money for St. Jude. So... We've got time and I will be donating myself tomorrow as well, as I always usually do. You lost your favorite sim once and didn't know how to cheat to get them back. You cried so much and I know cheats now. We know and we learn from experience. <laughs> we learn from experience. A mummy occult, honestly though, that would be nice. A mummy occult. Well, anyway, besties, I think Honestly, we shall call it here for now. I will, however, keep you all posted on things. But tomorrow we are going to be playing The Sims 4. And we are going to actually, um, what is it called? What is it called again? Shell tours. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. I'm like, wait, what's the word again? We were going to do shell tours. But yeah, shell tours are tomorrow. We're going to look at some lovely shells. We have our next shell challenge happening on, I believe, Saturday, I'm pretty sure. But the quote of the day, though, is it's like Olive Garden, but without the sticks. Pretty much. It's like Lemon Cake. Lemon Cake is a great game, by the way. Nice indie game. But I'm so excited for shell tours tomorrow. I'm so pumped to see what you all have done with the shell that I have created. But besties, we're going to go send some love, hype, and positivity over to a good friend of mine who is playing some Sims. And we're going to go send some love over to my good friend Zephrin, who is playing the Sims for Decades Challenge. And they're on the year 1940 at the moment. So if you love a good challenge, you love vibing in a good, comfortable, wonderful stream, Zephrin is the one to go to. But we're out to raid my good friend Zephrin playing the Decades Challenge. They're on the year 1940. And honestly, quite nice. And also, by the way, her pronouns are she, her, by the way, in case you are curious on what Zephyr's pronouns are. Um, Noelle, I see you. Don't spoil. Don't spoil the raid. They don't need to know. Don't spoil the raid. That's mean. <laughs> um, anyway, but I will see you all tomorrow at 6 p.m. with the uh, Sims 4 Shell Tours. And uh, yeah, stay safe. Be you, be you, and goodbye.